title, The Glory and Fall of the Roman Empire. In the heart of ancient times, when legends were born, and empires cast their shadows across the lands, there stood a mighty realm known as the Roman Empire. It was a time when heroes donned armor, puts, spun tales, and grand structures rose to touch the very sky. But little did the world know that this splendid empire's fate was intertwined with the pages of history, destined for both glory and a heart-wrenching fall. Chapter 1, The Rise of a Colossal Empire Picture yourself in a time long past, where Rome was not a city, but an idea, a tiny village nestled along the banks of the Tiber River. Over the centuries, this humble village grew into a bustling city, then into an empire that reached out to seize lands near and far. The Romans were ingenious builders and fierce warriors, creating roads that stretched like veins across the land, and legions that conquered with unmatched skill. Julius Caesar, a name etched in the annals of history, rose from the ranks as a brilliant general and a cunning politician. His ambition led to the formation of the First Triumvirate, a powerful alliance that united him with Pompey the Great and Crassus. Together, they carved the Roman world into their own design. But even the most steadfast friendships can falter. As time passed, political rifts tore their bonds asunder, leaving Caesar to stand as the last man standing. Chapter 2 Crossing the Rubicon and the Age of Emperors the Rubicon, a small river that marked the boundary between Roman territory and the unknown, became the line drawn in the sand. Caesar, driven by a desire for power and a thirst for glory, famously uttered the words, Eli yacta est, the die is cast as he crossed the river with his legions, defying well, the Lucy. Senate's command and plunging the Republic into chaos. This marked the beginning of the end for the Roman Republic. As the smoke of civil war cleared, a new era dawned the age of emperors. Augustus, Caesar's grandnephew and adopted son, emerged as the first Roman emperor. He understood that power could be held in one's grip, but it needed to be cloaked in the garb of tradition Augustus ushered in an era of relative peace and prosperity, known as the Pax Romana. Glorious monuments such as the Colosseum and the Pantheon rose to touch the sky, testaments to the might and magnificence of Rome. Chapter 3 Division and Decline Yet as time ticked on, the might of the Roman Empire began to waver. It stretched too thin, like an aging lion overreaching its bounds. The empire's vastness made it difficult to govern, and internal strife eroded the unity that once held it together. The Roman Empire was divided into two halves, the Western Roman Empire and the Eastern Roman Empire, also known as the Byzantine Empire. Barbarian tribes, once held at bay, Roma's powerful legions now sensed weakness. The Goths, Vandals, and Huns surged toward Roma's borders like a tide, seeking the riches and stability they believed they could seize. The Western Roman Empire faced wave after wave of invasion, and the great city of Rome itself was captured by the Visigoths in 410 A a shocking blow that echoed through the annals of history. Chapter 4, The Final Gasps of an Empire The Western Roman Empire clung desperately to its existence, but the light of its glory was flickering. In 476 A, the last Roman Emperor of the West, Romulus Augustulus, 
was deposed by a Germanic chieftain named Odoser. The once mighty empire was no more. The glory that had burned so brightly had dimmed to a mere ember. But as one fire extinguished, another still burned. The Eastern Roman Empire, centered in the city of Constantinople, stood strong against the tides of time. This Byzantine Empire would continue for nearly a millennium, preserving the flame of Roman heritage, art, and knowledge in the face of adversity. Chapter 5 Lessons from the Past The Fall of the Roman Empire was a complex dance of power, ambition, and external pressures. It taught the world lessons that would echo through time, one of these lessons was the importance of unity and sound governance. The empire's vast size and division into two halves weakened its ability to respond to threats effectively, a lack of strong leadership, and the erosion of civic virtues also contributed to its decline. Furthermore, the Roman Empire's collapse showed the dangers of overextending one's reach the empire's attempts to control vast territories, spread its resources thin and made it vulnerable to attacks from without and within. The fates of great civilizations often hinge on their ability to balance expansion with stability. Epilogue Legacy in the Ruins Today, when we stand amidst the ruins of the Colosseum, Gaze upon the grandeur of the Panthen or ponder the words of philosophers who walked Roma's streets. We are reminded of a time when an empire rose to unparalleled heights and ultimately met its fall. The Roman Empire's legacy lives on in the ideas, languages, and systems of government it left behind. Its story is a testament to the grand tapestry of human history, one of rise, fall, and the eternal echoes of memory. And so, dear reader, as the sun sets on this tale of glory and downfall, let us remember that history is a mirror, reflecting not only the past, but also the lessons we must carry into the future. Just as the Roman Empire's legacy endures, so too can the wisdom it offers guide us on our own journeys through time. The End Thank you for watching. Please give us a high rating and subscribe to our channel.